Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Jen and Anne from Winnebago County Casa. How are you two ladies doing today? Good, we're good. Fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. So, Jen, we are here today because it is a very special day for Casa. What is today? Today is Casa Appreciation Day. Awesome. And what is that? Uh, where we just spend the day really, really appreciating our casas and those that have the boots on the ground for our kids in our community, those that are taking time out of their own lives to make a difference in a child's story. Um, we try to do this throughout the year, but today is one day that is special to them, special to our casas and what they do. Absolutely. So today is like the big day and joining us is a casa, Anne. And so, Anne, tell me a little bit about like why it is that you decided to become a casa. Why be an advocate? I decided to be a casa because I think that between DCFS, DCFS and foster care, there's a potential for children to fall between the cracks. And this organization kind of fills that crack. And we, I think it's a wonderful organization. So what better place to be than one of the Okani Casa? Yeah. And you're helping kids, yes. right? And I so, love kids. And you gotta love kids. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so what are some of the different ways that uh, advocates kind of help, you know, change the story of a child here in our own in our own community? Well, we you visit the child, we can advocate th advocate for them by speaking up on their behalf, making sure they're getting the services that they need, make sure they have someone that they can confide in that would take that information back to the courts uh, to be their voice. You can also sponsor to work on one of our events or just kind of help out and get the word out, letting people know that we exist and we are an organization that's been around for a long time and we are in need of volunteers such as yourselves. All right, that's a great segue, Jen, <laughs> to uh, how can the community get behind Winnebago County Casa? Like, what can they do to support the organization and support all of these children in need here in Winnebago County? You know, we are only serving uh, a very small amount of, co of children in Winnebago County. We're serving just under 300 children um, that are in the system, and we have over 1,200 children that need a CASA. So we have a long way to go. So we need people. We need caring, loving people who want to make a difference in this community, who want to change a child's story. Um, so I know that there is a time in people's lives where the window opens for volunteering, and so if that's you or somebody you know, please contact the CASA office. Yeah, and like an easy way is like, if you know them, like tag them in the comments down here yeah. uh, and <laughs> call them out. And follow, like, exactly. Uh, say, you would be a great fit because, you know, you guys are really just looking for someone with an open, loving heart that loves kids and wants to make a difference right here with the children in our own backyard. 100%. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for taking the time to get together and chat and happy CASA Appreciation Day. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to highlight local organizations that make a great positive difference in the 815, like Winnebago County Casa and talk to these wonderful people here behind me. Uh, so thank you so much to them. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rafford. See ya. <laughs>